Encompass Swiss Consulting, covering all your Swiss machining needs. ISO Tool Holder Nomenclature Training Okay, here we have the ISO Tool Holder Nomenclature Worksheet. This goes along with the ISO Insert Nomenclature Worksheet uh, that we had worked on before. Now, um, you'll see in the center of the, the page I have the SCLCRF-10-3B. Um, this is the matching holder for that insert that's listed on the insert sheet. Again, you'll also see that the information was taken from the uh, Kenna Metal Catalog 2090 Micro Machining Tooling, the ISCAR Catalog Complete Machining Solutions 2006, and the Kyocera Cutting Tools Catalog 2007-2008. Now, with these numbers here, um, there is a position in the front which I have labeled number one. With those manufacturers, they also offer their boring bars, um, which would be under like three quarters inch shank um, or one inch shank that um, we can insert in our machines and using them in our, our drilling stations. Um, when we order those boring bars, normally there's a, a alphanumeric code in here, which uh, a C04, which a, a C would be a, a carbide shank. Um, the 04 is going to tell you it's four times the 1 16th. You know, so in this case, it's quarter inch, 250. Um, 250 is the shank size, so your minimum bore is like 300 or something like that. Now, you'll notice that they also and this is not all of them. I believe it's only uh, Kenna Metal offers these different bars. Most of them uh, are the other guys uh, like Iskar and Sandvik um, and the Kyocera. They only offer the S or the steel shank. Um, some of them may order the C, uh, offer the C carbide shanks now, um, but Kenna Metal is one that definitely has more versatility on their on their bars. So that's position number one. Um, the dash is just a placeholder. Uh, number two is the clamping system. Again, because I'm combining these catalogs, uh, some of these do not fit. You know, some of them are not offered by all the manufacturers. Uh, C is a top clamp. Um, you'll normally see that from Kenna Metal. Uh, Ken clamp, which is D. Again, that's Kenna Metal. Clamping and pin locking is offered by most of them, which is an M. Uh, the cam lock, uh, which is the cam lock system, is what the M is. Uh, top notch clamping um, used to be a kind of metal patent, but it's now offered by a few different companies. That's an N. Uh, the pin only is a P. SC screw clamping, which is the most common for our Swiss machines. Um, the K lock is a T. Uh, top wedge lock is the MW and the wedge lock is W. Now that's the clamping system. Um, again, offered by most of those manufacturers. Now the next one we're going to work on is we're going to actually work on the C here. Okay, now this I have listed as our uh, third position, which is the insert shape. C, which we have in, in here, is again 80 degree rhombus. So it's an 80 degree insert. Um, as you know, the, again, this is a turning holder that we're working on. Um, we have a number of different shaped inserts, which is the 55 degree rhombus, uh, 55 degree parallel, uh, again, 90 degree rectangle, square, circle. Um, our standards are, again, 80, 55, 35. Those are what we use most commonly, um, unless you're using a neutral profile, um, which is going to be uh, like a 55 degree. Number four, clearance from face approach angle. Again, this is clearance from the face approach angle. And each catalog lists it a little differently. Um, one of the ones that we show would be like the letter A. So SCA, which uh, is 90 degree, from the horizontal or it's a straight face. Um, there is no clearance so if you're turning towards a shoulder um, when you come to that shoulder it is going to rub the entire way up 
when you go up a shoulder and it will chatter um, so the A's are more more used for facing or something like that they're not used for turning and, and going up shoulders um, uh, again the B is a 15 degree clearance but that's 15 degree clearance going into the stock it, it's not clearance from the face backward uh, so we can actually have more clearance that's actually sticking out more um, C is 90 from the horizontal uh, D is a 45 the most common now a J alright we have an SCL um, I'm going to show the J here now the J is what I'm showing is a negative 3 degree in some catalogs it's also called a 93 degree it's 93 degrees from the horizontal so we are 3 degrees past uh, the vertical which means that we have 3 degrees clearance going into the insert so that's the type of insert that we will use for turning an OD up to a shoulder and then we will come up the shoulder and because there's a three degree clearance um, it will not shatter it will just go ahead and just peel the material off as it goes um, the other one is the L that you see here um, which has five degree clearance on the horizontal and the vertical again this is a more common insert um, this or more common holder this is what we use the SCLCRs um, and again, the rest of the letters listed for some of the other ones. Uh, a P, again, 27 and a half degree uh, neutral plunge with, that I've listed. Um, if you have a 55 degree insert and it actually is uh, perfectly vertical, um, tip to tip through like the center of the holder. Okay, that's a 27 and a half degree, again, half of the 55. Um, so it's a neutral plunge for bellying out parts and stuff like that. That's another common one. Um, again, Q, R, T, all these other uh, variables that we have. And again, that's a clearance angle from the face. Uh, the fifth position, C, clearance angle. Again, uh, the B would be a 5 degree, C is a 7 degree on up. C is more common for us to use. Um, also some P's, which is an 11 degree clearance, and that's actually the problem that we had with the insert. Um, on our ISO insert at that one customer is they put in a P insert and not a C so it was at 11 degrees not 7 so therefore it wouldn't sit in the pocket correctly. Um, sixth position is the hand of the tool which is right left neutral um, which is pretty common to have on all of our uh, holders. One thing that isn't is this F here again Kind of metal catalog listed as number six. It's actually almost position number seven. What that defines is you have three choices for the kind of metals. C, which is a deep pocket for ceramic insert. S, single pocket for locating wall. Or F, straight shank, no offset. For Swiss machining, the F is what we use. We use straight shanked uh, tool holders. So our insert is basically in line with our shank. It's what we call our master plane or our Z0, especially on our facing tool. Um, every manufacturer has a little bit of a tolerance and they will vary by a little bit. Um, but the F is what we normally run um, on Swiss machines. The dash of course is just a placeholder. The next position that we're going to talk about is either 7 on Kenna Metal or 7 and 8 on, on Iskar and Sandvik um, and that's going to be the shank size. Now Kenna Metal listed as square shank uh, the number is in 16th inch increments. If it's a rectangular shake, shank it is the first digit number in 8th inch increments the second digit is in quarter inch increments in height. Okay so number seven on Kenna Metal or number seven and eight on Iskar. So we have here uh, a 10. All right, so it's 10 times the 16th, which is 62 and a half. That's 5 eighths, it's 0. 0.625. So this is uh, an 80 degree 5 eighths shank holder. This eighth position for Kenna Metal, ninth position on Iskar is the uh, inscribed circle of the insert. So this is a three which is actually a three series insert. Okay so it's a three-eighths inch. Um, 
the ninth position is our qualified surface and length. Um, I believe they all use the same designations on here. The B, which we have listed, is qualified back and end, four and a half inches long. The D is a qualified back and end, six inches long. And the Z is qualified back and end, three and a quarter inches long. Now, looking at this number, just like the inserts, the S tells us that it's a screw clamping system. C tells us it's an 80 degree rhombus. The L tells us that it's a five degree clearance on the horizontal and the vertical. So on our X and Z, basically we have five degrees clearance uh, going both directions on our turn and our face. We have uh, a seven degree clearance from uh, the bottom and we have our right hand insert. We have our straight shank holder it is 5 eighths because it's the 10 times the 1 16th increments. It's using a 3 series insert. And again, this tool holder is 4 and a half inches long. Depending on the machines that you have, the older machines we could get away with 6 inch tool holders and it would be okay. Um, some of the newer machines are actually a little more compact, fitting in more tooling. And of course, because of the live tooling motors and stuff like that, we are actually using either the B's or into the Z's. So we're using even shorter holders, especially when you get to the smaller machines. So that covers our ISO tool holder nomenclature worksheet, which goes along with the ISO insert nomenclature worksheet. I hope you enjoyed it. Produced by Encompass Swiss Consulting Incorporated, 2012, all rights reserved.